Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. Now, I have said before many times in the past that water is the most important thing for your homestead. Uh, you need water for yourself, for your gardens, for your animals, so many things, and you need multiple sources of water, a primary, an alternative, a contingency, and an emergency source of water. Having built a homestead from the ground up, from scratch, off-grid, I know that the most important thing for anything is water. I mean, when you look back through history, you see that cities are oftentimes built next to a fresh water source. Major cities are always built next to usually a fresh water source or a port city, meaning where the goods and services can travel. But there's usually a fresh water source nearby, inland, because you have to have fresh water. So all that being said, I am watching, because if you don't know, we're on Twitter. And so I've been watching I've been on Twitter a lot because I get a free speech platform finally where I can say a lot of the things that I believe or promote and talk to other people who believe the same way I do on certain things without worrying about being hindered. So check us out if you're on Twitter. We're at an American Homestead. But I've been seeing a lot of ads on Twitter lately for this project called Neom. And I've um, I've had I have definite opinions on this. I don't think it's possible. Um, Neom is this gigantic project that Saudi Arabia is building in the middle of the desert. Here is a map. And if you look on this map, there is it's basically in Saudi Arabia on the west side of Saudi Arabia near the Gulf of Aqaba and the Red Sea. And there's this line. You see the line there, that red line. That red line is a major future city that's already under construction. They're trying to build it right now. They're having major difficulties because they can't keep the talent um, on board. Um, the crown prince over there is not used to having people tell him no. Um, he's used to being his whole life surrounded by yes men. And Saudi Arabia understands that their time of oil is coming to an end. And so they've enjoyed tremendous riches beyond anyone's imagination because of the amount of oil that they have been able to export. Well, that's coming to an end. They realize at some point the world is shifting away or trying to shift away from that. Whether it will or not, it's a whole different video or remains to be seen. But they're trying to come up with a different way to stay relevant in the years to come. And they believe if they develop these futuristic cities called this Neom or in this area called Neom, that will continue to allow them to be relevant for the future. And so, again, they're having all kinds of problems. The biggest problem I see them having going forward is lack of water. The Red Sea, if you did not know, is one of the most saltiest bodies of water on planet Earth. The Red Sea. The, hot, the salinity of the Red Sea is super, super high, and it only gets worse with time. It's naturally getting worse on its own because of the winds, the high winds over that body of water, and the heat. It allows the evaporation to just wick up into the atmosphere, and um, then it allows, uh, and, the, and the, the water just becomes saltier on its own. Not to mention the fact they're putting tons of desalination plants along the coast, that are sucking the water out and then putting this brine sludge back in after they get the water out because it has to go somewhere. And that brine sludge just goes right back into the water and just makes it saltier, you know, on its own. They have a real problem. And all of the ads I'm seeing lately on Twitter and other places that's promoting this, they're promoting it really heavy in the West. It's all of this greenery and we're going to watch the video here today. Here it goes. Now, I'm not going to leave the sound on because uh, I, don't, I, don't wanna, I may get in trouble with YouTube for doing that. But let's just go ahead and play the video without the sound. It basically starts at the beginning of time. You have the caveman and it progresses from there into agriculture and um, people growing things. And then from there into sciences and arts and stuff like that. And how we've evolved into airplanes and then rockets that went into space and all these things. And now we're going to change everything again by letting water pause the video flow forever it says if you can read that through the line there it says let's change water so it flows forever i don't know how they're going to do this because the place where they're building this is a desert it has no water there is no rainfall and the only water that's available is achievable through a desalination plant or lots of them and it's just a it's an it's a it's a it's an eventual negative return because of the the amount of salinity in that water supply that they already currently have. I don't see how this is efficiently possible, but that's what they're going to try. Unless it's through some sort of weather manipulation where they can make it rain over the desert. But even then, I mean, it's a it's still just 
<laughs> Where's the water going to go? It's super, super hot there. Um, but right, let's continue with the video. So they're going to make water flow forever. Um, there's the water. And as you go through the video, you see the technology. They're going to build this huge area uh, of of to make cities a playground and the infrastructure that's going to... Guys, do you know when it comes to infrastructure, when it comes to building, there's so much water that needs... You have to... People who work, who build, the machinery they run, it requires water. How are they going to get this water? Um, continuing on, notice the greenery here. So you have the shopping. Look at all the greenery, the vegetables and the apples. We continue on. And then pause again. You have these fruit trees where people are grocery shopping and they're picking the fruit right off of the trees <laughs> as they shop. Uh, all of this requires water to grow plants and trees that are old enough to grow, even produce fruit. You need uh, soil that has been manicured and 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 cultivated so that it can possibly grow these sorts of plants and trees and it all requires tremendous amounts of water. Water is the most important thing you must have. And so you continue on, and there's fruits, and then there's these giant, this amazing forest with, oh, let's go back. I'm going too, a little too far. Uh, forest where we have all this greenery and flowers and insects. All of these things require water. <laughs> all right, continuing on. Uh, so now we're getting into the technology portion of, portion of the video. And so they're going to develop new technologies and to make the future better and factories, new modern factories with robotics and all of these things require tremendous amounts of water. Lots and lots of water. Um, continuing on. The new future, we have education. Of course, there's going to be schools there where we, the learning never stops. And I don't know what this signifies there. Um and then you have, of course, healthcare because healthcare, you guys saw, we got to cure all these diseases. And but again, look at the pause the video and look at the infrastructure out there. Look at the buildings. Look at the greenery out there. All of this requires water. All of it requires water. Okay, continuing on to the video, uh, banking. Oh, and this is a this is a clear uh, attack against the dollar because again, the reason they're doing this is because they know the petrol dollar is on its way out. Uh, the U.S. dollar, the reserve currency of the world, has lost has lost confidence with other countries, and what's incoming is either some sort of CBDC, uh, bl uh, blockchain technology, Bitcoin, or it's going to be some sort of um, remnembi with gold backed, probably gold backed, because uh, uh, the the eastern countries are up trying to acquire gold like you would not believe right now. And so I, I very much believe that the future currency that the world is going to be using when it comes to a, a worldwide worldwide reserve currency is going to be a gold-backed currency. Uh, that's why all these central banks are buying it. But let's continue on. Um, and yeah, so there we go. We're going to explore the world around us. We're going to make a new tomorrow, a new day, a future day, bright and shiny, happy for everybody in this gigantic desert that we currently call Saudi Arabia, they're going to change the name to Neom. How are they going to do this? I have no idea. I have no idea because you, you can't just make it rain. Or maybe you can with weather, weather manipulation. Uh, we know that there are governments and people are getting into that, and that's now uh, it's on the cusp of technolo being technologically possible. Leave a comment below if you think that's how they're going to do it. Leave a comment below if you if there's going to be some other way you think they're going to do it. I don't know. But listen, having, again, built a homestead from scratch and understanding that it takes water. Water is your most important resource. Besides a positive attitude, water is your next best thing you have to have when building a, a, a homestead. Building a city, building anything from scratch, you have to have water. I don't know how they're going to do it. Leave a comment below. Let me know. This is Listen, I'm seeing this advertised heavily right now on the internet. Neo. I just having a hard time seeing how it's possible. But maybe you can explain it to me in the comments below. All right. It's the end of 2022. Uh, 2023, guys, is right around the corner now. And um, the biggest winner this year has been gold and silver. If you have a gold and silver portfolio... It is exactly where it was at the beginning of the year. If you have, if you, if your assets, if your financial investments were in anything paper-denominated assets, it's down the toilet. 
<laughs> this is why I brought on Genesis Gold Group as an advertiser. Check out the ad below. Listen, if you call Genesis Gold Group, and some of you guys have, I know a lot of some of you guys have, and you guys have tried to get your uh, IRAs, and you have gotten your IRAs and 401ks transferred over into something that's physical, that's vaulted, physical for you, that's not going to be manipulated. Do it. Do it now. You're seeing right now the clear winner of financially 2022 was gold and silver. 2023 is going to be a roller coaster ride. Ugh. Get out. Get out now and tell them, tell Genesis Gold Group that I sent you. Tell about, tell Genesis Gold Group when you call them that you heard about them. They're going to ask you, hey, how'd you hear about us? An American homestead. You heard about them from an American homestead is how you heard about Genesis Gold Group. That's what you tell them. It helps me out. It gives me a little bit of a kickback, and uh, they 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 uh, appreciate being a sponsor here. I appreciate them being a sponsor here. We got some amazing things coming up for them. Um, we have a very famous voice that's going to be uh, on the channel here coming up soon, who also believes in history, who believes in self sustainability, and who believes in you know having your financial assets protected. So we'll talk about that coming up in the year ahead. All right, guys. See you next time in the homestead. Bye. This is Grandma. Grandma survived the Great Depression. She survived the Great Depression because her supply chain was local and she knew how to do stuff. Grandma was smart. Grandma told us to make do with what you got. She also said, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Homesteading is all about self-reliance and declaring ourselves to be independent from the system. We grow our own food, we raise our own animals, and doing these things help safeguard our families from the unpredictable world that surrounds us. But what about banking? I love being my own power company, but what about being my own bank? Right now, our country is over $30 trillion in debt and rising. The Fed keeps printing money and the Congress won't stop spending money. Staying attached to the modern banking system and their investment vehicles is like putting all of your eggs in one very, very fragile basket. On one side, you have the threat of inflation and your savings value floating away. And the other side is a possible deflationary stock market collapse, just like what happened in the 1930s. Genesis Gold Group is like a basket holding eggs, and these eggs are impossible to break. History shows us that all paper investments have and will return to their intrinsic value eventually. Zero. But gold, silver, and other precious metals have never, ever been worthless. In every collapse throughout history, people have turned back to precious metals to find monetary value. If you have a 401k, an IRA, or a savings account where you're literally watching the purchasing power inflate away, give Genesis Gold Group a call right now. Today, this instant, they can develop a strategy for you and the days ahead. I can tell you how I raise sheep, I can tell you how I raise chickens, or the best way to grow tomatoes, or how to hook up a solar panel. But Genesis Gold Group is your best shot at safeguarding your hard-earned savings and investments during this increasingly turbulent time in history. The link and phone number is in the description below, or visit their website at genesisgoldgroup.com. Hey guys, did you know you can become a patron of an American homestead? They get access to private videos and we send them gifts from the homestead that we make here on the homestead. And we also enter our patrons into special giveaways that are only available to them. And before you go, please check out these other great videos. Go ahead, click. Oh wait. <laughs>